The streets don't love nobody. I'm here to tell y'all, man, I've been through situations and let y'all know, man, it's not worth jumping off the porch like that. Now, I ain't gonna sit up here and act like I was straight waist deep in the streets, no. But I got a street daddy, all my people's for in it, and like, or was in it. And I've been through a lot to know, like, man, this ain't for everybody. Because guess what, man? Nobody applying by the rules. And the rules is no snitching. Majority of dudes out, outside already snitching. Man, you ain't supposed to be back doing nobody for their girl or their money. Everybody on it. Everybody on it. I come from St. Louis. We call it backdoor city. Everybody on it. You hear me? Like, you really can't really trust nobody. You feel me? And that's the thing. Like, people will sit up here and tell you, yeah, bro, I'm, I'm outside. I'm, me and my guys, we loyal, man. Look, don't be letting the pictures with they gang fool y'all, bro. Like, everybody be like, we gang, we gang, we gang. At the end of the day, the gang telling on everything. <laughs> I swear. Like, I promise y'all. Like, y'all wouldn't, man, I'm telling about. Man, coming up, bro, I promise, I seen so many dudes doing so much backdoor activities, pathetic. You hear me? I know dudes who was showing love to people. As soon as he got jammed up, he done backdoored and took it for everything. Took everything out of his house. I seen when a dude, you know, was on his deathbed. You hear me? His so-called partners in his house taking everything. He ain't gonna need it no more. You know what I'm saying? A real partner wouldn't even do you like that. You hear me? I seen the dude getting cuffed up, handcuffed, like, Pointing his fingers like, no, bro, that wasn't me. That was, you know what I'm saying? I seen that. You feel me? Like, I seen dudes supposed to get a lot of time and they getting right out, getting bonded out. And then, next you know, they jump back in the court and all this other stuff. And then they partner get jammed up and they free. I'm like, hold up. Then word go around like, oh, you snitching. You feel me? You snitched on your partner. So, man, it be like that, bro. It be like that. So, don't believe the hype, man. The streets is a myth. Street rules are a myth, man. It's best to just get your money. Stay out the way. You hear me? Get your money legitimately and stay out the way. Because, bro, everybody, man, they, they earn people out over petty shit now. It's, it's just petty. Like, ain't nobody really abiding by the code no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody just, everybody got Call of Duty guns. Everybody trying to spray everything walking. Everybody trying to prove that they hard. And everybody doped up. Bro, it's cool to be on drugs, bro. It's cool to be, like, on every drug known to man right now. It's cool. You feel me? Like, you see it in every rap video. Dudes just ain't just drinking liquor and smoking weed. Nah, dudes on everything. You hear me? So when you got that much going on in your mind, bro, like your, your logic is gonna be cloudy. You know what I mean? So you liable to do anything and it make you emo more emotional. You feel me? Especially pills. It's gonna make you super emotional. So it just really ain't cool to be just be outside like that. I'ma let y'all know, man. I lost plenty of partners, bro, recently. Just off of some street shit, you feel me? And just knowing, like, man, it's, it really don't be, like, it be a straight myth. Like, they, we've been conditioned to believe that people in the streets move solid. No, they don't. <laughs> I promise you, majority of them don't. It's rare that you come across a dude who's solid. Who really solid out here, who really gonna stand on business. Nah, mostly dudes out here back doing their own partners, either for their money or for their girl. You hear me? If you get locked up, I guarantee you, one of your homeboys gonna be trying to knock your girl. I'm talking about send her to the moon. Cause guess what? They been peeping her the whole time. You feel me? Like, man, it's just best not to move like that, man. It's best to just move out the way. Don't let nobody don't let everybody know where you stay at. You feel me? And don't be posting your location every time you're going somewhere. The streets don't love nobody. And I mean nobody, man, I done been through certain situations, bro. I I thought people was my partners, right? But then, like, they had smoke with my peoples, and they hit me up, like, basically, like, it's like that for me and my people. I'm like, hold up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, people just switch up. People pick and choose what they want to do. You know, it's just, it just, it's a lot of flaw shit to go on in the streets, man. And, like, it's so heavily glorified. Everybody's glorified, especially in the hood. Like, I mean, especially in the music. Everybody's glorified the hood. Like, like, yeah, we all gang, nigga. Gang, gang, they tell it on everything, bro. Ain't no, man, ain't no such thing as gang. I swear. Cause even people are like, man, my gang ain't like that. We ain't like that, man. I swear, I could be around somebody in they in they in they gang, right? I'd be around them for about ten minutes. I could say, okay, this nigga flaw. He jealous of him. He this, that, the third. You know what I'm saying? He want them. You know what I mean? It's just like that, bro. It's just like that. Like it's really not a good time. Plus the internet out here too. So it's a lot harder to get away with crimes nowadays because we under surveillance 25/8. I mean, we under surveillance every. I mean, all the milliseconds of the day. You hear me? We under surveillance at all times, so it's not really smart to be out here trying to crash out, trying to earn your op out, whatever the case may be, because you're going to get caught. 
You gonna get caught. I don't care how you, how smooth you think you is, bro. You're gonna get caught. These cell phones tell on everything. I had I had people who used to work at the police station in St. Louis, right? He told me, even on Snapchat, right? They they can pull up the files on there, even though it like expired 24 hours. He was like, nah, bro, like we caught a dude up for a robbery off Snapchat. Cause he was on Snap this, you know, for this much time. We ran the files, saw that the robbery went down at like 8 p.m. That's when he got off of Snapchat, you hear me? Got back on around this time. And that was the lead up and we got him, you know, we got him together. You hear me? So I was like, damn, you feel me? Cause and then so like I said, social media gonna tell it all. I remember one time my people was finna fight. You hear me? And they and they put it all on social media, like they finna meet up at this one spot. All these people met up at this spot and the police met them met them up there. I said, damn, because they have a department. They have a department to where they just look at social medias all day. Social media is really helping the police out. So it's like, okay, boom. If a crime happened, they looking like, okay, boom. Okay, let's look at their friends list. Okay, we can ask them in their friends list where was they get this, that, and the third. And that's how they go quick. You know what I'm saying? That's how they quickly <laughs> solve these crimes. And then another reason why, because dudes be telling. You hear me? These niggas sing a hard to Beyonce, bro. I promise you. So, bro, it's just, it's just best to just stay out the way. You hear me? Get some legit money and just focus on you. You hear me? If you got a family, really fall back. But if you by yourself, really just, you know, focus on you. Get your money and just stay out the way. Because like I said, man, if you a good-hearted person, the streets is not really for you. Especially right now because they eating dudes like you up alive. You hear me? All them, t all them things that we heard, you got to be solid in the streets. You know, people, man, so many people running off is pathetic. It's cool to run off. It's cool to be flawed. It's cool to be petty. It's cool to be savage. It's cool to be a demon. It's cool to just be the opposite of solid. It's cool. You feel me? So it's like, why jump into some shit like that? Well, you know, dudes ain't even just running off with peas no more. Dudes are running off with a zap or some weed. You hear me? Like, it's just, it's not really, it's not really designed for you to win. It's really designed to lose, especially nowadays. So, get into shit like this, man. Content creation. Get into, you know, coding. Get into... You know what I mean? Get into another field, man, to where you can make some legitimate money, man, and just stay out the way because nobody's safe out here. The streets don't love nobody. Everybody talking about how the streets... And then another thing, too. One more thing before I go, right? Everybody talking all this, oh, slide for this, slide for this, slide for this. Man, you know how many dudes that who talk big boy shit that I know be like, man, I'm sliding for my partner. I'm sliding for da 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 Partner getting knocked, man, ain't sliding for shit. Now they talking about, oh, man, you know, I got a family. I got this, which I respect, but it's like, no, nah, don't come up with the energy like, yeah, bro, I'm, I'm down for whatever. But then when your partner get knocked, it's really time for you to stand on what you said and you ain't really sliding for him. You hear me? So that's the thing, man. Like, everybody, everybody want to be street until some real street shit hit the fan. Then you see people real characters. Like I said, I ain't never finna sit up here and act like I'm just that nigga. Nah, nah, I ain't never say that. I'm just letting y'all know, man. Hey, streets don't love nobody, man. Don't believe in the myths. You hear me? This is a free game for y'all, man. Tell me what y'all think, folks. Talk to me in the comments.